Hi everybody, Mary here from A Recreated Life and today I'm getting on to make a video. Um, I am cooking again. <laughs> I'm sure you're sick of my cooking videos by now, but tis the season. Uh, so today I am making some chicken soup and again, you know, we're having cold weather here in Maine and uh, so I wanted to get on and make some chicken soup. I'm doing it a little bit differently with some different flavorings than I normally do. So. Um, I wanted to get on and show you guys. So the first thing I'm doing, um, I'm getting, getting, putting in the pot. I've got my, this is a, a huge um, uh, enamel um, coated cast iron pot. And I am melting a couple tablespoons of bacon grease, bacon fat. Um, so I'm trying to uh, get this, I'm going to get this melted. And then I'm going to get my veggies in here and... Uh, Kind of try to bring out the flavors in those veggies a little bit before I add the um, stock. I am using uh, some chicken tenders that I bought the other day, about a pound of chicken tenders. Um, in here I have got um, about a half a bunch of celery cut pretty small, uh, three organic carrots cut into pretty small pieces, um, three cloves of garlic uh, minced, and I'm going to put that in. And then here, like I said, is about about a pound of chicken tenders. I cut them up uh, fairly small. I, I, looking at it now, I probably could have done them smaller. But uh, anyway, here we go. So I thought that by um, using the bacon fat, I've never done that before. And I thought, well, boy, that sounds pretty good. I'm going to put that in here just to get the flavor going in the um, for the veggies. Probably could have used a little bit more, but this is okay. I don't want that garlic to stick. I'm just going to keep stirring. It's pretty hot. I don't think I'm going to put the chicken tenders in. I'm, I thought about um, doing the chicken tenders in here right now as well, but I don't think I'd better because they're going to cook pretty quickly. Once I get the chicken stock in, ooh, I'm afraid that's going to stick, so I'm going to pour the chicken stock in. This is quite a bit of chicken stock, and I might not use it all, but we will see. This is my own homemade chicken stock. You've seen me do videos on that before. It's still frozen, too, so ooh. Oh, wow. I'm gonna try to chop some of that off, right? this out a couple days ago actually but still showing a little frozen whoa okay I think I will use it all it's gonna make a huge pot of soup but that's okay all right I've turned my heat back up to high to melt this and I'm going to add in Two, two beef bouillon cubes and uh, I've got the um, sodium free chicken uh, bouillon. I'm going to add one packet of that. If you guys have never tried it, you should try mixing your bouillon cubes like that. It's really, really good. Um, it just gives it so much more depth of flavor, I think. So try it sometime. I really like it, I think. <clears throat> oh. So yeah, like I said, you know, I've got a busy week coming up. I'm going to be working quite a bit, so I know that I'm going to need something, um, something to, you know, go for my lunches and dinners, and so um, making a big pot of soup is always a good, a good option for me because I know I'll eat it. It will go throughout the week, so I'm just going to wait till this comes up to a boil. I'm also going to use a little bit of soy sauce. Um, you know, I like to, uh, I think this is different than what I normally do. I, I like to try some different flavors today. Um, I think I'm going to add all of it. Not that much in there. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for this to come up to a boil. Okay, so I brought my, um, liquid up to a boil um, and once it started to boil uh, I let it boil for five minutes I added chicken and I let it boil for five minutes and now I'm going to add the pasta and let it boil for another 10 minutes now what I'm using for pasta is this it's a barilla it's a linguine but it's cut in half 
and so I'm, I thought that would be good for soup. So I'm going to add probably half a box, maybe more. We'll see. See how that feels. I think that might be enough. Maybe a little bit more. I always tend to overdo with the pasta, so I don't want to make it. I don't want to make it too thick. So 10 minutes. I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. And get back on in a minute. Yum, doesn't that look good, guys? Look at that. Look at that. Look at the chicken. The little green things that you see in there are celery leaves. They are not um, herbs of any kind. They're celery leaves. And I love to put cel um, celery leaves in soup. I think they are delicious. All right, so it's all done. It's been cooking for 10 minutes. Wow, that's hot. Whew. Let's see if I can get some of those noodles in here. They don't, they, they don't seem to want to stay in my ladle. some tongs or something because they don't want to stay. Let's see. Maybe I can grab some with these. There we go. Oh, it's very hot. Very, very hot. Ouch. Look at that, guys. What could be better? Homemade soup um, and buttered crackers. I'm going to sit in front of my TV and binge watch Netflix. I've got my fireplace plugged in and I'm ready for to settle down, settle in for a wonderfully comforting evening with my delicious soup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. It does help my channel, and I really appreciate you guys tuning in again today for another yummy, delicious cooking video that I've really enjoyed making for you. Give it a try, guys. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.